something that's pretty important here to voxel sculpting down here is the vox tree root is of course the scene volume 26 is the sphere here alright so let's do a couple of things here let's create a new object inside of the, the vox tree here and let's go to primitives and create another sphere hit enter and then alright let's take a look at the vox tree now I have two spheres both parented to the root of the scene now you could do a couple of things here first let's demonstrate what's going on here inside of the right click menu for the vox tray you can change the parent let's say I wanted to change the parent of this sphere to that one right click just change parent change it there and now whenever you do an action to the parent it will of course happen to the child so when I hide it or anything else it will do that to the children alright now you can change parent back to the root let's select this and then maybe move it back over just a little bit alright let's let's intersect them you'll see why here in just a sec okay so now we have these two vox objects intersecting let's click on let's click on the littler one so right click I can now subtract one voxel object from another. Alright. You can do a number of other things too. I need to create that so I do that. So I have my two objects again. So you can move one layer to another layer so that they both exist on the same layer. Like that. Let's undo that okay and then you can do a couple other things here quadrangulation will automatically retopologize whatever layer you have right clicked on and then you can export it out as a polygonal mesh and you can do that in three ways you can just quadrangulate the object and save it out then you can quadrangulate it and then bring it back in for painting automatically with uh, micro polygon painting then you can do the same for per pixel painting. Okay, let's hide one of these objects now. Let's right click again. You can access the axial symmetry here, which is the same as the axial tool. I've already done a video on that, so see the axial video for that. Same with transform. Extrude I have not done. So let's do the extrude. And let's turn it up a little bit take notice of the size of the sphere here now it may look like all I did was size it up well it kinda did but to better demonstrate it let's go with the copy tool here and oops let's create a new layer in the vox tree okay let's paint on this alright now let's hide it so the area here that I just copied out will be a really much better example of what you can use this for so let's right click on it and do the extrude operation again see much more noticeable okay what next uh, you can uh, extract polygonal meshes from this just do extract skin you can increase or decrease the volume of this object. Basically, it sizes up the volume or the object by two or decreases it. You can clone the space density of an object here. See, let's just read this here. Space with identical density and transformation it is important if you want to use copy tool without losing quality. Create new space and use copy tool that's pretty much what I did over here using the copy tool 
You can do the same with degrading, with symmetry, or just straight clone it. You can also export all sorts of other stuff here, like curve profiles, patterns, objects, or the whole scene. You can import objects and point clouds. You can edit shaders here. You can also change shaders if you happen to be in the neighborhood and don't want to click on the shaders tab. <laughs> you can also merge in 3B files which will bring it inside to whatever layer you currently have selected. By the way, 3B is the native file for 3D code. You can rename a layer so it doesn't have this generic volume XX name. You can add a sub-object or you can delete a layer.